Robert Montgomery is an organ transplant surgeon at NYU who Newsweek called one of America's great disruptors. Dr. Montgomery's disruptions to medical orthodoxy have saved thousands of lives, including his own. Kicked out of parochial school for being overly energetic, Robert Montgomery was a teenager in Philadelphia when his father's heart began to fail. It was the mid-1970s, and at the age of 50, his father was too old to qualify for a heart transplant, which was still rare in those days. The experience of watching his father's decline triggered his interest in transplant surgery. After studying medicine at the University of Rochester, he was selected as one of only four full residency interns in the Department of Surgery at Johns Hopkins. Less than a year into his training, however, at the age of 29, Montgomery learned he had the same rare genetic disease, familial dilated cardiomyopathy, a progressive weakening of the heart muscle that killed his father at age 52 and an older brother at 35. At the urging of his doctors, he agreed to have a newly developed device called an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, ICD, surgically implanted in his chest and abdomen to shock his heart back into regular rhythm. No one knew how the device would interact with sensitive electronics in the operating room, and Dr. Montgomery was told his career in medicine was over. Montgomery, however, persisted, and with the support of the Johns Hopkins faculty, was able to pursue his dream of being a transplant surgeon. He had to train himself to stay calm and keep his heartbeat low to avoid triggering his defibrillator. Over the next decade, Montgomery completed his surgical training, earned a PhD in molecular immunology, worked as a postdoc under a renowned geneticist, and finished a two-year multi-organ transplantation fellowship at Johns Hopkins. Dr. Montgomery was also part of a team of surgeons who in 1995 pioneered the laparoscopic removal of kidneys in transplant surgeries, minimizing the invasive procedure for living donors and significantly shortening recovery time. The laparoscopic procedure led to a surge in altruistic donors, making it possible for Montgomery to introduce what's called domino kidney transplants, involving a chain of donors to get the compatibility right. In 2010, Dr. Montgomery oversaw a domino transplant, earning him a place in the Guinness Book of World Records for transplanting the most kidneys in a single day. These innovations helped double the number of U.S. kidney transplants. Dr. Montgomery then dived further into the immunological issues of kidney compatibility and rejection and welcomed patients from all over the world who had been turned away by other hospitals because of rare diseases or immunological challenges. To increase the supply of donor kidneys, he supported the research of a fellow surgeon, Niraj Desai, who wanted to use kidneys infected with hepatitis C for transplantation. A thousand otherwise healthy hepatitis C kidneys were being rejected each year. Antiviral drugs had just been developed to cure hepatitis C, and Dr. Desai demonstrated that patients who received hepatitis C kidney transplants could be cured of the disease. Hepatitis C is commonly spread through the sharing of needles, and so the success of these transplants means that some good has come from the opioid crisis. In 2016, after 25 years at John Hopkins, Montgomery left to become the director of NYU Langone's Transplant Institute. Within a year, Montgomery's own heart issues became acute, and he was finally waitlisted for a new heart. Knowing it could take a year or more to get that heart, he volunteered to accept a heart from a 25-year-old hepatitis C patient who died of a heroin overdose. Within days of the transplant, Montgomery also acquired hepatitis C,